What is up everybody? Welcome back to Germastered Gaming. I'm bringing you another build for Remnant 2. So today we've got what I call the Lazy Boy. And the Lazy Boy is oh, not doing any work. Uh, this is based off of your Engineer and your Summoner archetype, which you probably know a ton about how OP they are. But this build comes together through really quick skill cooldown and really quick mod regeneration, because the mods actually play a very pivotal part in how this build works and what you can do with it. Uh, I've been build testing this in Imperial Gardens like I do all my builds, and it's so effective. I, I gotta get this out there, I gotta throw it together. So it's probably the shortest build testing I did. Um, if you get everything proc right, if you're working this build, you can stand up against the Imperial Gardens, where enemies are like, it's an onslaught, and then you have all those dedicated elite spawns. It's, it's the testing grounds. If you've seen my other build videos, you know. We, we've got a very formulaic method we're using to all these builds. There's things we do. Now, I build builds for running around in the world. Uh, I haven't built any builds for bossing or anything like that, but on this note, I think this build is the build for bossing with. Um, I don't know when I'll get to testing it. I've still got two more builds, actually, that I'm cooking up right now, so i got to work on those. And I also have a number of other games I'm recording and developing content for for the channel. So if you haven't seen my other stuff, check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Join the community here. Do me a huge solid and smash the like. Let's talk about the Lazy Boy. So, as we discussed, we've got the Engineer Archetype. I run the the Vulcan uh, turret because I, I just I love the Vulcan turret. Its range is what really gets me. Um, I do recommend you switch over to the impact cannon if you're smart about it and you use it properly. This thing is deadly. Um, flamethrower too, depending on the weakness of the enemies, is good. But I am a Vulcan cannon. I will stick with Vulcan cannon. I'm a pretty purist. Um, summoner for the secondary class. And you're looking at your Reaver as he is the most powerful. Um, these these guys are good still too, but once you have Reaver, I don't I don't see the point in running anything else. So let's talk about what we've built ourselves out with. Let's go over the armor quickly here because if you've seen any of my other builds, you know I like to keep my armor rating up around 150 plus, heading to 170. I don't mind going up and down a bit, and I like to keep my resistances in place. Like you got a nice bleed resistance, we're not a negative on anything. They did a great job with the patch with all that, and our weight is under 50 all always under 50 um, ever since they took away the bright steel ring so we've got the leto mark one the field medic overcoat the field medic trousers and the leto mark two gloves okay so the relic is incredibly important for this build because the relic is where your skill cooldown comes in now the big thing that pushes this build forward and makes it so successful is that you have massive skill cooldown and you have massive mod power generation because not only are your skills important but your mods are very important in this because you want to be able to pop stuff and then sit back and watch it eat the enemies up that's the goal of this it's the lazy boy you can just chill out and watch the show um it's been a blast i've actually loved it so we've got our skill cooldown our mod duration and our skill damage perk increases on the uh well i guess they should call our relic fragments on the relic heart there the diverting heart love it absolutely fantastic so quickly with gear the amulet is the soul anchor so we've brought up the damage of all our summons because we have lots of summons going on here the soul shard which is newly added to the game if you haven't found it look it up go find it it's pretty awesome it's a world drop it's one of the new ones added to the game uh you just gotta hope it drops for you run around the world build the build up and uh switch it out to something that you think fits it and uh, try that out until you get it because this increases the damage up by four percent for each active summon up to 12 so i actually have four summons so we're maxed on that but a 12 percent damage increase on top of a 20 percent damage dealt after summoning when you proc a summon in and you're summoning these guys so often that you know you're you're doing really good you're just keeping that going um from there we do the spirit stone to increase our mod power generation the stone of continuance to increase the skill duration you want that turret running longer and then again the catalogers jewel for that automatic mod generation because you want to constantly be regenning that now let's talk about traits because traits are actually important and a little bit different than uh, my usual here so you can see we've got flash caster because this is a skill and mod build it's it's so important fortify comes with the archetype so that's really wicked but i recommend for it fortify for anything you build it's so good and then regrowth again so this is a huge part of our healing here um regrowth is another one of those perks that i just love and i would have on this build no matter what reduces uh expertise reduces skill cooldowns by 20 percent and spirit to increase mod power generation by 20 percent. those are essential we're uh we're a very skill and mod based build so those you want now let's talk about what is important so blood bond archetype summons absorb your damage you want this this is how you're staying alive in apocalypse 
hand in hand with bark skin to reduce the damage you take and then on top of that you've got rugged so you're increasing the health of your summons so they essentially won't take as much damage uh it's really just your minion um but he's a tank and then siphoner to uh grant lifesteal so that while well, all this damage is happening you're gaining lifesteal so you do want to make sure you got your blood bond and your rugged on there um I think that's about it. Uh, the biggest thing, and the one thing I've mentioned, is your mods. So you gotta run Nebula, you need that Nano Swarm. Nano Swarm is devastating. We've got Harmonizer on there to generate more mod power for our primary weapons mod, and increase your mod damage, of course, with Harmonizer. We've got the Familiar. The Familiar's fantastic. We haven't used the Familiar. It's great for watching your back. It does excellent damage. And on that, we have Feedback. So using the mod generates 20% of a single charge value as passive mod power. And then it does mod damage, generates 10% additional da uh, damage dealt as mod power. So you're really cranking up your mod generation. You'll see as we get into it here. So bear with me. Let's go run Imperial Gardens first. I'll take you to Lonesome and Narud, my same two plots. If you've seen my build videos, you know. Now, I would like to say, if you have not already subscribed, consider subscribing, come along, check out some of my other content. Not only my Remnant stuff, but I've got lots of other games on the go, and uh, I'm doing tons of neat things. Um, do me a huge, huge solid slap that like button up. Slip you slap it up, and uh, let's see what's up. Okay, here we are. This is the Imperial Gardens, and we have a Blood Red Moon, so this is going to be quite testing, which would be nice. But we did have one earlier, though I don't think it's going to be too risky. I think what I'll do is I'll actually shoot some bullets, because, uh, yeah, it's all, it's all power based here. Clear this. Uh, we'll clear this next area, and then go from there. Yeah, let's try to get all these guys pulled. And if you don't know about proccing and putting away your turret, you can look into those command cues because they are fantastic. They really make everything better. Uh, as you can see, so now Swarm is back up again. We're just gonna keep chucking that out there. Um, I think we got, yeah, we got lots of guys here, so we'll be busy in a second here. A oh, little backstab there, hey buddy, that's okay. Familiar is back up, and we're just moving into the next. And again, if you don't know, the Blood Moons do increase the damage of your enemies, and generally, uh, don't quote me on this, I could be wrong about this one, they do increase the spawns of them, so Blood Moons are just absolutely freaking fun. Uh, we better... So we're gonna... We're gonna put this away. So we gotta... We gotta chill that out. Let's see this. How much health you got, buddy? Ah, he's got lots of health. We'll keep him going. So that's half my... That's half my skill back right away. Pop another one, turret's almost fully up again. And what do we got here? We got Swarm. Power that up. Done. Shredded. What else do we got here? We got a big guy coming in yet? No. And see how familiar? Look at familiar pump up. That's crazy. And I can just, like, I got the time. I can kind of weave in between these guys' and shots and stuff. Oh. Oh, here we go. This is fun. Yeah. 
count. I can't carry any more. That was, uh, that was like two seconds. <laughs> so the damage on that is absolutely filthy. Um, again, we are an apocalypse. You can see from when I traveled down to the bottom of the screen, it does shit say that. Uh, I'm gonna put this away. Because that'll regen so quick. I can't carry any more of that. Oh yeah, I don't need to get ammo because I don't use ammo when I'm doing this stuff. Um, but yeah, we were a blood moon in uh in apocalypse in imperial gardens which is the place to build test it's uh yeah we're we're doing it um i think i'm gonna pull all these guys up here i'm gonna try to get a whole swath of them up here and then let's uh take this down charge that up and find a nice spot to sit well everything dies don't stand in front of your turret because that will kill you faster than enemies. That's, yeah, I, I, if you want to have some fun, yeah, carry around and shoot people with it. Especially while it's on overcharge. Here they come. On the boss. But yeah, this has been, uh, this has been, like, absolutely disgusting to me. And again, so there's familiars back up. And even the turret. Just your damage that comes out of this is... So gross. The regen, you can see I've got the overheat is constantly up on that, and Nano Swarm is back. So let's see if we can't find like a good group of enemies. See, this is great. I love coming into here. Um, and we've been we've been rotating the mods. So let's get all these guys pissed off me. Do a lot of this. Charge that up. Charge it up. Oh, it's not so good. Anyway, we'll just let it do its work anyway. Uh, you see how quick familiar is coming back here again? Um, yeah, so familiar's up. You just, keep, you just keep rotating these things and you really don't have to do much. Uh, my big guy's full health again. He must be healing himself as he goes. Oh, here we go. We got an elite. That's good. Let's get an swarm on him and just see what this does to him. Okay, so yeah, you can see the swarm just chewing him up. Look at the turret, you see the speed that purple comes back when you pop your relic heart. Since this guy wants to bounce around, let's uh oh, a little bit of damage. Even even with like an apocalypse, like all this loadout, like I said, like you just you heal so quick because the amount of damage all your summons and everything put out is crazy. I'm not going to push any further than this. That's a good amount of elites. That's an aberration. Uh, it's it's a freaking walk in the park. Like, it's so crazy. And yeah, this is one of the builds I would like to boss test, though I don't really build builds for that. If you've seen my other stuff, uh, you know I, I just love kind of like world stuff. And I, I actually really love the Imperial Gardens. I ran through here for hours and hours and hours and hours messing around with builds and just fighting because it just has such good spawns. So you're out of here first. Cheers to Dan Ackroyd's Crystal Skull. Let's move on. Okay, here we are in Nerud. This is my favorite little run here, and I think it's a great place to build test because uh, the way Nerud throws enemies at you and it has different enemy types is uh, really fantastic. Let's uh, let's let these guys get shredded. No bad news. This guy's not even doing anything. Big boy's gonna roll up the back and just start cutting stuff up. Nano Swarm is just so good. It's not even funny. Okay, let's get let's get a heap of them out here. Let's see if we can get in the middle of this and uh, cause some real problems here. Right here. Look at them all. Oh, gotta be careful. The one thing you do need to kind of watch for is putting that turret up, get it overcharged, and let it go, let it go. Just kind of dance a bit with these guys. Big boys in there. Look at the uh, mod generation coming up. We're gonna be popping both our mods again in just a sec here. I I don't think we're gonna have to though because these two alone just put that away. Pop this. Did he just heal himself? Yeah, that's that's so wicked. Alright, so yeah, like I, I don't I don't know what to say. Let's see if we get an elite here. It'd be nice if we get an elite drop. Um this guy down here. Charge him up just because. Right, right, right. What else we got? 
No elite. It's always nice when you get an elite spawn. The elites here on the route, I think, are fantastic. But, uh, we can die here. Okay. Time. That kill. Oh, I guess the big guys are gonna do it anyway. Oh, yeah, and there we go. We're gonna throw bots in. One down. I think he's gonna take all these guys. Nano. And Nano's gonna annihilate this stage. Yeah, this is, uh, this build is. Gotta give it a show. Give it a, give it a, give, give it a try. And then get in comments and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you change. Let me know what you build up. I think from here we're gonna drink our. Uh, we're gonna kill this guy. I love blowing him up. And then we're gonna have a sip of our vodka. All right, Palace Courtyard. A little bit of run up to this one, but it's really simple because you just hit that the first choke point. I love this choke point. I love getting them all grouped up there and seeing how quick you can drop the whole. Uh, I think it's like there's seven of them. I think it's just seven enemies, so it's nothing too crazy. Like it's not like Imperial Gardens is the place. You've I'm broken recording it now, but if you are new here and you haven't heard me, check out my other loadout videos, and you'll notice that Imperial Gardens is where you go to build test. It's what you do. Um, and yeah, this guy also like this guy probably slaps bosses crazy. But again, I don't I don't need the boss rush or anything like that, right? So. I do have some stuff to collect left, and I definitely have goals, but I'm working on my Hex Bros right now. I'm working on those goals, so that is the focus. All right, guys. Oh, I put him away. Yeah, I got one for here. Charge him up. Pop the familiar. Pop this guy, and help him right. Wow. What? Yeah. I like how like most of them just kind of evaporated there quickly. So yeah, that's it. So thanks so much for spending your time watching the video with us here at German Dirt Gaming. Let's get rid of these hosers and uh, a little smoke show at the end there for you. Smash the like button for that smoke show. Um, if you're not already subscribed, join the community here. Uh, check out all my other builds. I've got some really fun stuff. I like to build my builds based off having a good time cruising around the world. And uh, using the different mods, using the different skills, using the different damage types. So yeah, check it all out. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much, so much, so much for your time. Hope to catch you again. Adios.